just to let you guys know, I'm like super tired today. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, long time no see. Um, we just got back from a week long camping trip. So um, needless to say, I was kind of MIA. I didn't have any service. And um, if you don't have any service, you can't really upload or you can't really be on social media. So with that being said, uh, I just went grocery shopping and I thought, I bought a lot of food, so I might as well share it with you guys, kind of give you a glimpse as to what we're eating these days. It's pretty much the same as usual, and it's pretty um, simple, but I just thought I'd show you guys. So if you are interested, just keep on watching and make sure to hit that thumbs up button before you go. I hope you guys enjoy. First, um, I did something different today than I wouldn't usually do. I went to um, our local farmer's market um, just to kind of see what they had and what like the prices were comparing because like if you buy some things in store like let's say Meyer, they do say locally grown but um, farmer's markets are all locally grown and I didn't know if there would be like a price difference between the two if you like cut out the middleman. I don't know. So I just went and checked it out and some things were cheaper some things were not um, but I'll show you what I got from there first. Let's just start off with the most beautiful, beautiful kale I have ever seen in my entire lifetime. This is a uh, Michigan grown kale. So, oh my gosh, look at it. Just look at the beauty. It's so, I can't even describe it. It's like so thick and like, I think um, I don't have a receipt um, for each individual, but I think it was like $1.50 per bunch. And look at how big these bunches are and look how yummy. And if I can't, um, I probably won't be able to eat all this. I plan to use these for smoothies for the next week instead of buying spinach. Um, if I can't eat all of it before it goes bad, I'm going to freeze it uh, because it's just as good frozen. Oh. Anna, as soon as I sit down and start talking, I don't know how she knows. Yep, she's awake. Say good morning. <laughs> okay. So, now we have Anna to join us. But, okay, continuing on with the haul. Oh, look at how sweet. Oh, you're just the cutest. Um, I got this huge green pepper. Mmm. That smells good, too but um, also locally grown. Actually, everything I bought is locally grown. I didn't buy anything at the farmer's market that wasn't locally grown because you can see on the packages, it'll say whether or not where it's from. Um, but I also got this huge head of broccoli that looks so good too. Mm, I can't wait to eat all these. And then I got two um, red peppers. Oh, that broccoli is making a mess. I gotta take care of that. Two red peppers, two Oh man, two cucumbers, four limes, I love lime water, and then two lemons. Okay, and then the rest of what I got at the farmer's market is just this bread. Um, I doesn't have any ingredients on it uh, because it's just from a local family that sells it at the farmer's market, but I'm sure it has some sort of milk or egg in it or something, but it looks so good and it smells so good. I got it for $3.75, which is kind of expensive for a loaf of bread. But look at, oh, if you could, if you could smell it, smell it. Mmm, yummy. Okay. You're not gonna eat limes, okay? Oh, and then uh, this is also something I won't be eating. Yeah, don't eat limes. I won't be eating this, obviously, uh, but I thought this was a good little treat for my fiance. It's just um, this garlic hunter sausage. It was six bucks, which is also kind of expensive, but um, it's another Michigan uh, Michigan company. But that's what that looks like. I thought it was like a fun little treat for him. Um, no, stop eating the limes. Okay. And then the next store I went to is Aldi. I love Aldi. I always go to Aldi because you can find everything there uh, for like super duper duper cheap. I'm just trying to find the bag. Oh, here's one bag. Oh, also what I got at the farmer's market. I got this uh, watermelon, which is also Michigan watermelon. 
Yeah. But, okay, so Aldi, I got um, some of our favorite chips. The uh, the barbecue kind, It um, there's no dairy or anything in it, but these are like the best barbecue chips I've ever tried in my lifetime. I love chips. <laughs> and then I got this uh, thing of spinach and arugula, some organic spinach and arugula for uh, salads, because, um, Camping, oh. I did not eat the best, so I'm trying to clean it up a little bit more. Eat some fruits and veggies, some mushrooms, strawberries. These look so delicious and they smell so good. Strawberries. And then this uh, gluten free brown rice and quinoa pasta. I always get it at Aldi. Um, it's, the quality is like, it's fine, but. Um, it's so cheap. It's so cheap there. I think it's like two dollars and thirty cents, which something like this at Meyer, the size this is, this would be like four or five dollars right here. Um, what else did I get at Aldi? Um, oh, this bag. Okay, I got these socks for um my son Jason. These were on clearance for five bucks. It comes with I don't even know how many socks, but they are Paw Patrol, and he likes Paw Patrol. Stop chewing on my food. I got some toothbrushes at Aldi. I want to start, I want to stop using um, plastic toothbrushes, but so how often do you have to change bamboo? Oh, don't move the camera, babies. Um, how often do you have to change out like a bamboo toothbrush? I don't know. And are they expensive? Do you guys let me know in the comments because um, I'm sick of buying toothbrushes all the time. And um, I just hate wasting plastic like that. I got some apple cider vinegar, 5% um, acidity with the mother. I heard you're supposed to get it with the mother. I don't know, this was really cheap at Aldi and it's organic. So I wanna do uh, lime and uh, apple cider vinegar water in the morning. And then I got two of our very favorite pickles. Mm, I love pickles. And then some, this is like a little snack for Anna that I like to take on the go. Freeze dried strawberries. I got some chili lime cashews, but oh my gosh, that sounded so good. I looked at them and I said, wow, chili lime cashews. I got some slivered almonds. I thought I got another bag of cashews. Oh no, I, okay, I got a can of cashews for like sauces and salads and stuff like that. Baking powder. And then another thing that I won't be eating, but um, I still have to buy stuff for Jason for his lunches, is um, this hard salami. And then I got canola oil for making, I'm making tostadas. Yum yums. Okay, and then the last store, oh, what are you doing here? Start over here, here you go sis. Here, play with this, play with this stuff. There you go. Ah. Okay, and the next store I went to was Meyer. I love Meyer. I will always go to Meyer um, over Kroger or Walmart. Nothing wrong with either of the stores, but I just find that I, I can find the best um, prices for the brand, like brand name stuff. Um, anyways. I got some of our favorite fabric softener. I use the Method uh, fabric softener in the ginger mango scent. I love that. Um, I got some brown rice, stir fry sauce, some tomato paste, Italian seasoning. Oh, I wish it would just focus on that and not on me. There you go. And then some whole peeled tomatoes. And then uh, this is super cheap but I use this um, for my eyebrows I don't really fill them in because I have thick eyebrows to begin with so I don't really need to fill them in I just use this um, eyebrow gel and the mascara gel that comes with it is the same gel for the eyebrows so you get like two eyebrow gels in one and it's like three dollars um, I found these shoes oh look at these little tiny things I don't even know they're these moccasins I don't know I don't I've never bought girl shoes Anna owns one pair of sandals and they are completely too big for her. So she has never worn them. But other than that, these are the only pair of shoes I've ever bought Anna because 
shoes for babies are just, that's just stupid. <laughs> so I got these for $5 on clearance. And then, um, does anybody else have uh, hard water um, in our sink and in our bathtub and toilet and everything like that? It all turns orange. So I have to buy cleaners that are pretty harsh in chemicals. That's the only way I could ever get rid of it. And I've tried baking soda and vinegar and it doesn't work. Um, so I use this Barkeeper's Friends, Barkeeper's Friend, I don't know, cleanser. It works really good. It's like one of the only things that'll work for hard water. Um, where's, oh, I have a, two more bags. Okay, I got my favorite almond milk creamer. I got some original unsweetened almond milk, and as like a little treat, I got Jay some chocolate almond milk. Yep. And then I got three um, things of orange juice, three frozen things of orange juice. Well, those are two. Here's the, here's the third one. Here, chew on this. You'll like this. It's frozen. It'll feel good on your teeth. Here you go, sis. And then some frozen stir fry veggies. These are fun, just to have, easy, quick meal things. And then, oh, I love these. I could eat this, like, I could just eat this, really. They are Sweet Lauren's gluten-free cookies, and they have sugar-free, or sugar cookies, or they have chocolate chip cookies. Those are the only two um, flavors that I've found, and they are completely vegan, and so, oh. <laughs> They are so good. They only come with like 12, but if you make more than 12 cookies, you're gonna eat a lot more than 12 cookies. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and then I got our favorite salsa. This is the best salsa ever that I've ever tried. And then um, I found these. I've never actually tried the corn brand of like vegan. I don't even know if this is vegan. I didn't even look at the damn ingredients. Oh, contains egg, milk, and wheat. So they are not vegan. Okay. I rock. And then uh, for Jay's lunches as well, these are things that I won't be eating and I will not let my kids eat. These are crap. I hate this. But anyways, um, I got some of these like P3. Uh, I got turkey, peanuts, and cheddar clusters, turkey, cheddar. I got a this Lunchable thing. I got some this Lunchable thing and then another P3 yep, thing. Gross. Gross thing. And then, oh no! The very last day, he has, uh, I got three bunches of bananas. We already have uh, lots of frozen bananas, so I just thought um, three little bunches would be okay for this week. And maybe even leading into next week. Um, I got a thing of blueberries. I did not get blueberries at the farmer's market because I knew that they were only $1.77. Michigan, these say Oregon. Why did it say, mm, the, mm, now I'm mad because the tag said $1.77 locally grown blueberries. And this package says Oregon. So there's that. And then I got four um, avocados. Just whatever. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that that is everything that I have. I spent roughly $130 on everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see uh, like what I eat in a day, is, I can't tell if it's like blurry. because If you guys want to see like what I eat in a day is, or um, any other kinds of videos, uh, recall that regarding food stuff just let me know leave it in the comments down below if you want to see anything specific um i hope you guys have an awesome day and um we'll see you soon bye can you say bye bye sis say bye sis yo Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> oh, no it's been one of those days mm.